welcome to my channel my name is Nikki thank you for stopping by today we've got this 20 by 20 canvas that we're going to be working on and we're going to do a milk paint satin enamel mixture pour and also the uh, wrecked ring uh, technique so I've been doing um, these types of pours for the past week um, I just really like them. They're really interesting and you get some really cool effects. Also, if you hear the noise in the background, I've got my little osculating fan on. It's a little quieter than the AC, but it is way too hot um, to have nothing going. Also, um, I've been sick. My voice is just now coming back. It's not great, but it's better than it was. So, um, I'm sorry if I'm not super loud. You might need to turn up your volume. Um, but hopefully I'll get back 100% soon. So I'm going to go over my color palette with you all. I have got the Artist Loft in deep green. The Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in berry. Uh, the Liquitex Bait 6 in Dioxazine Purple. The Deco Art Extreme Sheen in 24 Karat Gold. Uh, Artist Loft in Deep Magenta. The Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Peridot. And for my specialty paint, I've taken the Americana Decor Satin Enamels. This is in neutral beige because I can't find any more of the pure white. Um, and I've mixed it with the Rustoleum Milk Paint. This is in classic white. Um, and then I thin that with Floetrol. So, um, I just mixed up a whole batch of it and I've got it in this squeezy tube. So... Um, that is my color palette. I'm also going to be putting my paint in this container. I like having this spout to pour out of. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm not going to layer down the side. You, uh, you guys know by now I like to, um, I like to just drop it in. It makes for more interesting effects. So, I've actually been out in my art room for about an hour and a half. I did a pour and I hated it, so I scraped it. I did another pour and I hated it and I scraped it. So hopefully this pour will go better. down a base coat it doesn't have to be a lot I'm just going to use my hands I'm 
them pores without a base coat, with a base coat. Um, maybe it's just preference, but I prefer to have a base coat. It just seems to help the paint move better. Um, that's just my personal preference. I guess if technically, if you have enough paint in your cup, you don't have to have a base coat. Probably should have used a squeegee. <laughs> oh well. It's okay. I mentioned in another video, I found a box that had like six pairs of gloves in it, I think. And I got, after this pair, I got one more pair left. So, I'm on the hunt. I think our, our supply chains have been able to maybe catch up with demand. So, hopefully I can find some. Alrighty. Now I'm going to pour and uh, a combination of ring pour, jiggle pour. I love having a spout. And a handle. So I have my tool, um, this is a tool, I think it's a head massager, um, it's plastic, it's got these little bulbs on the end, I found it in the brush section at the dollar store. Um, and this is what I like to use to go through, so I'm just going to go through. And I like to wipe off my tool before making another pass. Okay. So I think that's all the passes I want to make. Maybe this is a peacock pour. I probably needed some phthalo green in there to be a real peacock pour. And I put an awful lot of that uh, satin enamel mix in here, but I really don't see it showing up much. We'll see though. I do hope this turns out. Alrighty. So, whew, it's a lot of paint. It's okay. Let's just start moving it around. Stretching it out.
go to this corner. I don't lose all that green that's down there. And I did. Oh well, that's okay. Let's pull this back. And let's move it a little more to the center. And now let's go this away. bring this back a little bit because my cells are starting to get a little wobbly. I thought whenever I did the swipes through, I was looking at the center thinking I need to go through that center and I didn't do it and I wish I had. Not that it's unattractive, I think it's beautiful. I just think I could have went through the center and had a little more interest here. Alas, I did not. It's okay though. Oh snap! I just remembered I didn't take pictures for my um of my other paintings that I did to do the um, thumbnails. Ugh. I gotta make a mental note. This is nice. I think I'll keep it. Goodness, what have we got over here? You know you've reached like pro level whenever you don't have to touch up your edges. <laughs> and they both fail and you finally get one that's like makes you happy I think I'll do another one in this technique if I have the energy to be honest I feel like I've been beat what do you guys think I think this part is probably the coolest part I definitely think this could have been more interesting, but, you know, overall, I can't complain. There's no way I can complain about this, right? It's beautiful. So, anyway, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to let this sit here and marinate. Um, 
and see if more sales will come up and then I'll bring you back and show you close-ups um, just to see you know if, if, if it does any changes because of the satin enamel milk pour stuff alrighty so it's been a little while and here is our pretty piece I'll show you some close-ups Whoever thought, oh, what's her name? She told me her name that had thought up mixing the, um, mixing the milk paint and the satin enamel. She's a subscriber and she commented and, oh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. But go look on my first video of, um, where I posted the satin enamel and milk paint mixture and she commented, um, that she had posted mixing these two products together to get cool effects on Facebook, on a Facebook group. Um, I wish I could remember her name. I remember the comment. But anyway, she was a genius. Um, it's so cool. The reactions are so cool. I really like this portion here. So anyway, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry that I sound the way I sound and I'm like breathing hard. It's just really hard to breathe right now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.